Hi everyone, welcome to Monday Morning Manifestation. It's your coach Elizabeth Pearson here with you again. Thanks so much for tuning in. Um, I'm all set and ready to go. I've got my iced coffee, but I'm fashioning a new mug today. Uh, it says believe that shit on one side, manifest that shit on the other. It's a nice stainless tumbler. tumbler. Let me know if you want one. Um, anyway, so today what we're going to talk about is raising your standards. And typically when I thought about raising my standards, the first thing that came to mind was what am I willing to put up with, right? And I think that we should have a discussion a little bit deeper about that because standards aren't so much what you'll put up with, but what your expectations are for your life. So if you look at it from that point of view, you're really deciding what you're willing to manifest, right? What you're gonna manifest. If you're gonna bring abundance into your life, if you're gonna bring love, new relationships and fulfillment, or if you're just willing to put up with something that happens to you. So I feel like it's a mindset um, switch instead of being reactionary to being proactive and, and really telling other people, yourself, and universal energy exactly what you expect and that you're not gonna settle for anything less. So I've mapped out about four areas of everybody's lives that I think you could tend to raise your standards. And in my mind, your standards can never be high enough. I mean, they really can't. Um, if people like Oprah and Tony Robbins and all these billionaires and millionaires keep raising their standards, then I don't think there should be a cap on how much we should be able to raise our standards. So the first thing that I think about when raising my standards was what I was gonna do for my job, right? What was I gonna expect of myself and of my employer in my career? Which is partly why <laughs> I decided to work independently and become an entrepreneur for myself because uh, I didn't feel like my expectations always lined up with my employers. I felt like my potential was the sky was the limit and maybe they did too, but you know, opportunities don't always just, you know, present themselves right when you want them to. So for me, it felt like there was a lot of waiting around for other people to get their shit together or them to pull the trigger on getting rid of somebody so that that spot could open up for me. So that was a huge catalyst for me walking away from my past sales career. I just wasn't willing to put my future in the hands of somebody else. Now, I know that's not the case and that's not even the goal of a lot of people. I mean, I get it. Thank, you know, expense accounts are nice and having that uh, constant income is nice, right? I get it. I get why you would want to work for somebody else. But I would say to that, if you are working in a traditional job, that you make it really clear what your goals are and you put a really tight timeline or at least a specific timeline on when you expect your employer to come to the table and at least have a discussion about it, right? So maybe your expectation is that you're gonna get a couple of accounts, you know, within a month. Set that goal for yourself. You don't have to tell your employer, but set some sort of personal goal for yourself that makes you stretch, makes you feel a little uncomfortable even putting it out there. And then hold yourself accountable to that every day. Okay, so that's one. The other one is obviously health right? Um, I know it's really easy to get into some patterns with eating and exercise and things like that, that you know you're better than that, right? You, it's, it's, it's fun to have parties and nights out and absolutely, you know, don't forego any fun for diet and exercise, at least in my mind, I wouldn't. But I think some people know when they've taken that mulligan a few too many times, right? They said, I'm gonna be better, or I'm gonna do this or that. And this morning when I was out running, I got up at six, which isn't something I always do, but I'm starting to make that part of my new routine. Um, I decided that that was my new standard, was that I wasn't gonna go another day without exercise, unless I really, really had a good excuse, right? Unless I was sick, or unless I really just couldn't make it happen because of some other commitments. But if that isn't the case, I'm getting my ass up and I'm working out every single day. There's just no fucking excuse not to. There's, there's no excuse, right, for a lot of us. It's, it's just not there. Um, another place where I, f another area of our lives where I feel like a lot of people should probably raise their standards are their relationships. So this isn't just relationships with spouses and friends, although those are incredibly important, but family members, right, who I think we always hurt the ones we love the most, right? We kind of just 
let the words fly when it's with somebody that we love and we know that they love us and they're not going anywhere, they can't because they're family, I think you have to raise your standards on what you expect from them in terms of support and in terms of what you can give them as well, you know, and those relationships really shouldn't go neglected. And I've been guilty, way guilty of doing that in the past, but I'm not going to do that anymore. I have a new standard that I'm going to keep giving to people until they give me a reason not to give to them. Um, and the other big relationship is with yourself, right? What do you expect of yourself? Do you really believe in yourself? Do you still have those big dreams, wherever it may be in your life, that you're really kind of denying yourself? And you're, you've, you've lost that drive to go after whatever you used to think you could do, right? Whatever you knew as a little kid you wanted to go after. Have you given up on yourself? Um, I've struggled with that a lot. I give up on myself at least twice a week. <laughs> and my husband knows it and he usually comes home from work and I'm clutching a glass of wine and I'm crying. Um, so it's okay to have off days, but try to raise your standards to be that most of the time you're really gonna honor yourself, you're gonna be true to yourself and you're not going to let this relationship, which is the only one that really matters by the way, uh, go to the wayside because you're just ignoring yourself you're ignoring your soul. Um, and the, the final fourth area where I think you need to upgrade your standards is um, who you surround yourself with, right? So this could kind of be a blurred line with some friends, but I think it's super important to be around people that you want to be like. And it doesn't mean that, you know, we all just have to go out there and try to find A-list celebrity or incredibly wealthy people to hang out with, but I think you need to hang out with people that you can learn something from. Maybe they're more compassionate than you. Maybe they're a better listener than you. Maybe it's somebody that you work with that you haven't really paid much attention to, but you know that one area of their role, you know, they're stronger in than you are. Um, but just upgrade the standards of who you let yourself be around. And if there are those negative kind of toxic people that you always kind of know, like when the phone rings, kind of roll your eyes like, ugh, what's this person going to be in a mood about today? Maybe just distance yourself a little bit or have the conversation with that person and say, I can't be around you right now because I'm feeling some negative stuff. So that's it. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and spending another Monday morning with me. I love you and I will see you next Monday.